This month marks 50 years since a young Hispanic boy, Santos Rodriguez, was shot and killed by a Dallas police officer. Yeah, there are many events taking place this month in his memory. Fox 4 Sean Rabb has more in this week's Here and Now. Having a conversation about an event that's going to take place this month that everyone in North Texas really should pay attention to. It is Santos Vive talking about the 50th remembrance of Santos Rodriguez. I'm joined to talk about this with uh, Hadi Shawad, who was the convener of Santos Vive 50, and uh, Renato Rey de los Santos, who is the uh, LULAC director of, uh, is it the National Education Service Centers, Ray? That's correct, yes. Hadi, uh, start, if you would, by talking a little bit, helping us know for, for folks new to Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, Santos Rodriguez story. Tell us. <laughs> Well, 50 years ago, in 1973, on July 24th, two police officers entered the home in a neighborhood in Dallas, which is now uptown. 50 years ago, it was a poor neighborhood known as Little Mexico. They went into the house, grabbed a 12-year-old boy named Santos Rodriguez, his brother David, who is a year older than him, handcuffed them, put them in a police car, and drove a few blocks away to the back of a FINA gas station. Somebody had broken into a Coca-Cola vending machine and stolen $8. <laughs> Officer Daryl Kane, who was sitting in the back of the police car, and Santos Rodriguez was sitting in the front seat, and in a game of Russian roulette, sought to seek a confession out of him. The second time he pulled it, the weapon fired, and Santos was killed instantaneously. Ronaldo de los Santos, tell us about the 50th remembrance. There are many events that are taking place uh, in the coming couple of weeks here in Dallas. There's a whole series of events uh, planned, Sean, that are including a youth leadership uh, seminar that we're doing here on campus at Mountain View College, at the Dallas College, uh, on Friday, July 14th. And that will be the first of a series of activities that will really kick off on Sunday, July 23rd with the recreation of the march that happened in the community. That march uh, 50 years ago served to bring attention to this and to uh, really create a community backlash leading to the arrest of that officer who uh, so uh, uh, tortured the, the, that young man and, the, and his brother. Um, and then uh, leading to the eventual convic conviction of that officer. There will be a uh, presentation as well at a memorial uh, service at the uh, site of the new uh, uh, City of Dallas statue that we have and the Rec Recreation Center that's been dedicated for Santos. Uh, there's a whole series of activities. We invite the community to check them out. Uh, the importance of the entire community engaging in this, either one of you, tell me why that's important. We want the community to come out because we want to make sure that this never happens again in Dallas and that we recognize what actually did happen in Dallas's history. All right, tell me where folks can find information about the events that are, the many events that are going to take place. We have a Facebook page, it's called Santos Vive, S-A-N-T-O-S-V-I-V-E, -E, Santos Vive, and we have our flyers posted there where people can access and find out where all these events are going to happen. We have two screenings of the 2018 documentary, Santos Vive. Uh, uh, these are both free, every event is a free event. Thank you, uh, Hadi Jawad and uh, Ray De Los Santos for taking time to share about the importance of remembering and at the same time uh, looking forward. All right, thank you all. And again, events remembering Santos Rodriguez start this weekend. All activities posted on the Santos Vive Facebook page. We have a link on our website. Just go to fox4news.com.